close your eyes, watch your breath. And as you watch the breath, you're also watching your mind to make sure that it stays with the breath. Why do we watch the breath? It's because it's right here. It's our anchor in the present moment. And if the mind moves away, you know. This way you get to observe your own mind. We live out in the world and our eyes and our mind just filled with issues of the world. We don't have much time to look at the issues of the mind itself. So this is why we come here to the Mother John Sawat so called this quiet corner, to put the issues of the world aside and learn how to look at our own mind. Because as the Buddha said, it's our mind that's creating the suffering that weighs us down. We tend to blame things outside, the, the weather, the economy, this person, that person, this group, that group. But it's actually the way the mind reacts to these things that makes it suffer. And so we have to look at what is the mind doing? How does it react? Is it reacting with wisdom or is it just reacting out of old habits? So find a quiet corner like this and create a little quiet corner inside yourself too with the breath. Let the breath be comfortable coming in and going out so that it feels good to stay here, it feels refreshing to stay here. And then as the mind begins to move, you can see it clearly. You can catch it in time before it turns into full-blown anger or full-blown greed or full-blown whatever. You detect the little movements of the mind and you can put a stop to the ones that are unskillful and you encourage the ones that are skillful because you're in a position to tell which is which. If we're giving all our attention to the world, these things can come up in the mind and we don't really know what's going on, what's driving us. It's like handing your keys over to somebody you don't even know, letting them drive your car. It turns out sometimes they're crazy, sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're full of anger, sometimes they're full of greed. You can't trust a driver like that. You won't have mindfulness and alertness driving your car, driving your life. So we give the mind some time to be by itself so it can see, okay, who's in charge here? And if the wrong people are in charge inside, well, you can make your own little revolution inside. Get mindfulness in charge. Get your discernment in charge. All the good qualities of the mind, let them be the ones who are driving your life. That way you get to where you really want to go.